<laughs> I'm just laughing because this video that I just watched now it just gives me joy. You know, I think uh, we have so many advice on marriage, relationship, so on and so forth going on on the internet. But there are some ones you see like this, uh, you feel like <laughs> you think that that one is the best. So there is this uh, advice that this man gave concerning marriage. Where I say advice, where I say it's a tip concerning marriage but before i go for that to bring me the video let me first of all introduce myself in case you're seeing me for the very first time i go by the name djk and so if you're seeing me for the very first time please make sure you follow like comment and share my content because like i promised you in my first video on my previous video that i'm always here to bring to you current happenings you know what to benefit you what to make you know your value and what's going around your environment so i'm not here to make you laugh or bring comedy to you each of my videos have a very vital message and information to pass across. So, if you have not followed me, or you have not joined the family by following or subscribing to this particular page or channel, please subscribe, follow, like, comment, and share. And to those that are coming back, to my returning subscribers and my returning followers, thank you so much because it's because of you guys I'm here and I'm also keeping me going and bringing more videos to you. So please. If you have seen this video to this extent and you have not followed, I have not liked or shared, please do so. Like, comment, share, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Chris and Comment, for more updates. So, back to what I was saying, this particular video, <laughs> this man, as in, it might sound stupid in your hearing, but in actual fact, in actual sense, that's the best marriage or relationship counseling or advice you can ever get in this 21st century now. Because if you're claiming smart, you're claiming that you know it all, believe me, you, in your own very before, you see your marriage collapse, you see your relationship collapse. But when you started behaving like a fool, because it takes, it takes two fools or it takes a fool to, to, to work together. Because if you're claiming right always, you're going to get it all wrong. Like the, the saying that says that two captains can never be in the same boat. Because if they are dead, that boat will capsize. And that, that statement also got this one that said, two goods that two people are, a, a goat that two people are feeding will definitely die of hunger. So watch this video and see what this man says concerning marriage and also um, relationship. If you want to have a long lasting marriage and long lasting relationship that will lead to marriage, that your union will be perfect. Then you know that no one is perfect, but for your union to be happy, for you to be happy in your union and be, you know, comfortable with your partner, one person must have to play a role of a fool. So let me leave you guys to watch this video. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. You consider this video look, look like and what you think about what the man said. If he's right, drop it in the comment section. If he's wrong, drop your own opinion in the comment section. Let's deliberate about it. So let me leave you guys to watch the video. Remember, I still remember my humble self, DJKM. See you in my next videos. Bye. You cannot tolerate the following things. Don't get married. Number one, if you cannot control your anger, your temper, don't get married. If you cannot tell you, tolerate stupidity, don't get married. If you cannot say sorry even when you are right, don't get married. Marriage, I've been married for 35, 38 years. Falling in love is common sense leaving your brain. It takes stupidity and tolerance to remain married. Those who are too smart, like Bill Gates and Melinda, they don't remain married. Most Nobel Prize winners and very intelligent people don't maintain one relationship. It takes some level of stupidity to remain married. I've been stupid for 38 years. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. God bless you.